Hearts. My name is Huma Hassan and I am the Executive Director of Wafa House. Wafa House is a uh, social services agency, a not-for-profit registered in the state of New Jersey. The mission statement of the agency is to preserve and strengthen the family through intervention and education. I'm in charge of operations, I'm in charge of administration and I oversee the clinical uh, and the um, administrative aspect of the agency. Not just limited to the state of New Jersey but nationwide as well as in the Middle East, the United Kingdom and Canada. I joined the Waffle House about eight years ago. I retired from the Passaic County Prosecutor's Office where I specialize in domestic violence and I was honored upon my retirement to be asked by Waffle House to join the Board of Directors. And I've been with uh, Waffle House now eight years, and I've enjoyed it, and I've seen the organization grow, and it's just phenomenal. And so many victims that were not being helped are now being helped, thanks to Waffle House. إحنا بنعمل سوشيال سيرفيس وعنفي أسري يعني شو اللي هي خدمات اجتماعية يعني بنقدم خدمات اجتماعية كتيرة جدا جدا صحيح الأوفيس بتاعنا صغير وفي ثلاثة ثلاثة بس موظفين وإحنا كلنا فلان يعني مش على تبرع لوجه الله لكن الخدمات اللي إحنا بنقدمها كتيرة جدا 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 عندنا بورد ممبر كبير من أمريكان لأفريقيا أمريكان لأسبان طبعا الأخت هدى إسماعيل عندنا شيز أول يعني one of the board members and she's the media Lina, yeah, and she does a lot for us. And then we have a lot of people who are in the board. And we have a board advisory. And we have a new board member, Gidida, who is a councilwoman in Clifton, who is a member of Murphy. My name is Al Alvarez, and I am on the board of directors for Waffle House. Although I do know Waffle House for so much longer, I first became aware of this wonderful organization uh, about around 2006, 2007, when I worked for former Governor uh, John Cooper. Corzine. Um, he was invited to attend some of their events. He immediately became uh, passionate about their cause and their mission and did everything he could to try to support them, uh, whether it was helping them navigate the, the state agencies to find out what grants and services would help them grow, um, or just being able to be supportive at different events and galas that they had throughout the year. So I was uh, the conduit, uh, the liaison, if you will, between Wafa and um, Mr. Corzine. And so uh, after he unfortunately uh, lost uh, the election and left the office, I still I stayed connected and I stayed involved because I really believed in WAFA and um, all the wonderful things they do and it's a wonderful board and they really touch the lives of so many um, important people that I just felt like it would be, it'd be an honor to, to, to be involved in some way. So I'm very humbled and honored to be here today and to be a member of the board. Um. I want to make sure everybody in the show is included in my style of comedy. I like people from all types of backgrounds, no matter where they're from, what they believe in, to come together when I'm on stage and delivering the jokes. Laughter is the most universal language, and this is what I have that I could perform for them to bring them together. I started performing when I was, this is my 12th year, so I'm 34. Uh, 12 years now, so 20, 22. It's been that long. I don't. I, I literally like forget. I don't measure it by years. I just. I just love performing as much as possible. See, it comes with a flotation device. You understand it. Even if they have a thick axe, you can hear it. I don't know what the wrong. What was wrong with these air flight attendants? I can't understand a word. A what? And I speak, read, write, translate Arabic. I have no idea what they're talking about. Right? As soon as they get on the microphone, this is what you hear. <laughs> turns to me, my girlfriend, she turns to me and she's like, I have a question. I'm like, oh my god, this is coming right now. So she's like, if we were engaged and I fell on my ring finger and I had to lose my ring finger, would you still marry me? I was like, no, obviously no, I would not. I would not. And she was like, oh my God, you would stand in front of my proud Egyptian father and you would tell him, I'm not going to marry your daughter because she has nine fingers? I'm like, well, I wouldn't use those words, but I would use some other words that your dad would understand. She's like, what would you say to him? I go, I'd, I'd stand in front of your Egyptian father and I would tell him in Arabic, the salam nindif, a salam ek nindif. The way, hip hop music, then, as soon as the double beat drop. <laughs> Anyway, you're a grown man. Stop shaking your hips like that. It's not gangster. Anyway. He says nobody's perfect. He says nobody's perfect because he is not Jewish, Yabni. And where are the Arabs? Where are the Arabs at the end of the movie when all the fighting is over? They're in the desert dancing on. Anyway.
Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it.